What's up? It's Coach J Pro back with another round of reflex bag workouts. Let's go. Today we have a four round boxing workout for lower body strength. Like always, this workout is designed to be done with a reflex or a cobra bag, but if you don't have one, don't sweat. You can still follow along with whatever equipment you have at home. You don't need your gloves on yet because we're going to jump into a warm up in 10 seconds. You look good in the summer. All right, so we're getting ready to jump into that warm up. As always, it's super important that we get nice and loose and warm before we jump into our workout. We're going to open up with arm circles going backwards here for 30 seconds. Not too fast, but nice wide arm circles. We want to work out any knots, any kinks before we start throwing hands. Now let's go ahead and change direction. Arm circles going forward. Okay, now we're gonna go right into alternating leg circles. Opening up the hips here. Same idea, nice wide leg circles. All right, shake it out. Now we're gonna go right into a torso twist, pivoting the balls of our feet. Now let's go ahead and open those up. Five seconds here. Okay, now we're gonna go right into squats for 30 seconds. So your feet are just about maybe a little wider than shoulder length apart, and you're just gonna sit straight back as if you're sitting on an invisible chair. All right, shake it out. We're gonna go right into a little freestyle shadow boxing. <laughs> Moving all around your space. <laughs> Putting those punches together anywhere from one to four at a time. It's always nice to throw one, two, three, and then move. Shadow boxing is such an important part of the process because it's all about being balanced, visualizing those movements. I talk about it all the time. I'm gonna continue to talk about it. The reflex bag is tricky. We're always missing. But when you're comfortable, staying balanced makes the process a whole lot more fun because we embrace the miss and time. One minute rest and then we jump right into round one. All right, so we're getting ready for round number one. And again, this channel, it's all about boxing for wellness here. So you think about this, these four rounds, this is your time to yourself. You owe it to yourself to take a break from the outside noise and to just get in that zone and let your body move freely. We're working lower body because that is where all of the power comes from in boxing. It's not so much the vanity muscles, the popping biceps, the triceps. The triceps help a little bit, but real boxing power comes from the lower body and core. So we're going to get into some tricky combinations. We're going to get into some squats. And as always, these four rounds are going to fly by because we're going to be moving and grooving and having a good time. So let's approach our bag. And in five seconds, we're gonna open up round one with a flow one, two. So let's get right into it. That flow one, two is our light, sustainable pace. My feet are nice and relaxed. 
I'm not moving all around my bag. Just starting to develop a rhythm. We're gonna use round one to start to warm up and then move up to some higher intensity levels as we go. 10 seconds here. All right, step out for a second. First combo of the day is gonna be a one, two, five, right on the bag. One, two, five. That's a jab cross, lead uppercut. Now, as always, if you're newer and you're still getting your rhythm down, it's gonna be easier to do your combinations planted. Throw a nice sharp one, two, five, little pause. If you're someone with some more experience, you're gonna to wanna to throw that combo, a little bit of footwork, and change up your angles. Now we're gonna stick with the one, two, five, but we're gonna add a six. We're gonna make it a four punch combo. Anytime we're getting into these combinations, that power comes at the end. So here it's a nice quick one, two, five, put a little bit more juice on that six. Just don't forget to take your head off the center line. The bag hits back. Okay, 30 seconds, step out. We're gonna go right back to squats. Sitting straight back, the weight is on my heels. Ten seconds here. Yeah. All right, shake it out. We're gonna go back to the one, two, five, six. We're gonna add a two at the end. So we've got a one, two, five, six, two. That two is the power shot at the end. Thirty seconds here. Take your time. This is a trickier combo. Ten seconds. Let's see if we can get two more. Hey. One more together. <laughs> Already hitting that mind body zone. Grab a quick sip of water. We jump into round two in one minute. All right. We're not even into the second half. I'm already starting to sweat. You know that's a good sign. Now we're gonna work pretty hard in this round. The only combo that we're really gonna do is gonna be a five, six, three, two. Much trickier on the reflex bag anytime you start opening up with the rounded punches. So my challenge to you is the first time that we do the combo, let yourself just be planted as you do that five, six, three, two. The second time, try to move around a little bit in between. So in 30 seconds, we're gonna open up. But first, we're gonna start with a, a flow five, six to get loose. And we are gonna be squatting quite a bit. But that's where we get. Build that power. All right, so let's approach our bag. And in five seconds, we're gonna open up with a flow five, six, nice and light. Starting now. You go at whatever speed helps you maintain a rhythm. This would be the ideal flow speed. Just tapping my bag in rhythm, bringing my punches right back to the chin. All right, before we get to that combo, we're gonna go right to our first set of squats. 30 seconds here. Sit back nice and slow, try to explode up to complete the movement. 15 seconds. I'm right there with you. If you're a beginner or you're still building up your cardio, try your best to stick with me through the three rounds. 
Just slow it down if you get tired. Nothing wrong with that. Now we're gonna go to that five, six, three, two. Ish, 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 ish. This is a really tricky one. Ish, ish. But you know me, ish. I wanna give you a challenge. I don't want it to just be easy, as fun as it is to feel like Muhammad Ali out there. We gotta challenge ourselves too. Hey, 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 hey. All right, second set of squats, here we go. 30 seconds. We should start to feel that burn coming on. Shh. 15 seconds. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it in my quads now. Five, four, three, two, and shake it out. We're gonna go back to that five, six, three, two. If you're struggling with it, you can stay planted, but if you wanna rock with my challenge, we're gonna try to open it up and move a little bit. This most important thing is that you're finding your own rhythm. It doesn't have to be the same as my rhythm. Maybe your bag moves differently, but that you're developing your own rhythm here. 30 seconds. One more. Make it count. And time. All right, so getting ready for the second half. But first, a quick thought. If you're new to the channel or new to boxing training, first of all, welcome. Thank you for working out with me. Second of all, you might find yourself at times feeling a little frustrated or overwhelmed with some of these trickier combos, especially the ones that we're doing today. Anytime you're doing rounded punches, hooks and uppercuts, it's just really tricky to get the timing down. So just give yourself some time to develop and start to get that rhythm going. You will get there when you stick with it. I'm gonna link some more beginner workouts in the description if you wanna go back and sharpen up with some straight punches. But most important thing is that you just enjoy the process. A lot of times we put all this pressure on ourselves, we wanna get it down, and it just makes it just not fun to grow and develop a new skill. So have fun, get loose. If you wanna check out some of the beginner workouts, they'll be in the description. And if we're staying here, we're gonna go back to that one, two, five, six. That combo from round one for 30 seconds. Ish, 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 ish. Second half, we wanna really start to open it up a little bit. One, two, five, six, one more. All right, now we're gonna face our bag and we're gonna go to some alternating reverse lunges. So one at a time, that leg goes back and then you just dip straight down. The important thing here with the reverse lunges is that the foot that's in front, we wanna make sure that knee doesn't go out above our foot. So that leg goes out and then we just dip straight down. One more here, boom. Now we're gonna go back to that second combo, the trickier one, five, six, three, two, for 30 seconds. Ish, 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 ish. And take your time, take your time. Throw these punches one at a time if you want. Ish, ish. The speed and the agility and the quickness, the fluidity, it all comes together with time. Now we're gonna go right back to those alternating lunges for 30 seconds. Nice and slow and balanced here. Take some time to get your footing and that just dip straight down. Four, 
Five seconds here. All right, last minute of the round. This is your time. A little freestyle here. Try to open it up. Try to work slips, some head movement. Ish. 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 Now, if I call combo A, give me that one, two, five, six. So A. Ish. 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 Right back to a freestyle. Ish. 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 If I say combo B, Give me that five, six, three, two. B. Ish, 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 ish. Back to the freestyle. Ish, 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 ish. Combo A. Ish, 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 ish. Nice. Ish. Combo A. Ish, 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 ish. Combo B. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Now we're feeling it. Ah, ah. One more. Wah. And time. All right, that's it. We're on the fourth and final round. Now, since I'm always talking about lower body and power and the connection, this is gonna be our power round. We're gonna work power into every single movement. Now, keep in mind, your bag might have some limitations. My bag is made by Fierce Reflex. It's built for pro boxers up to super heavy weight. I also have a ton of added weight. So I've got my setup so I can let them fly. You might not have the same setup, so make sure you don't knock your bag into your, uh, into your neighbor's living room. But within the limitations, we're gonna drill some power here. The key with working power is that it's about slowing it down. If I'm trying to really fast rip power shots, it's gonna be a lot harder to just continuously try to fly away. But when I take my time, ish, ish. I can really let them fly. But first, approach your bag, get into a squatting position, because we're gonna go into a squat three, squat four. Right up to your bag. Squat three, squat four. Squat three, all right, you get the idea. Squat four, I'm still saying it. This. Okay, now we're gonna just work a power three. So I like to sit right in place, take my time, make sure I'm pivoting my front foot, ripping my power three, my lead hook. And remember, if you miss, you just stay balanced, that's okay. It's only awkward if you make it feel awkward when you miss. If you miss with class, you look like a pro. Now back to the squat. Three, squat, four. Squat, three, squat, four. Watch out for that bag. The fight's back, you know that. Ah, one more. Okay, now 30 seconds, we're gonna work that power four. Pivot that back foot. Crank that four. The more loose and relaxed you are in your upper body, the cleaner that hook is gonna be. 10 seconds here. All right, last minute, it's a power freestyle. So what I want you to do is I want you to first move around your bag and start opening it up, throwing everything nice and light. But when I call out a punch, you're gonna rip it hard. So two, okay, now everything nice and light. Three, six, power five. Power six, hey. power five, everything nice and light, 30 seconds. Power three, hey. power two, power one, power one. Yeah, I know you're right there with me, power one. Power two, 
Power two, power two, power one, power two. Woo! Dang, that feels good. Nice work. Made it through this four round lower body boxing workout. Please support the brand if you're enjoying these workouts. Throw your boy a like, drop your boy a comment. Definitely subscribe to the channel so you get alerts every time I post a workout. And it's every week, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. And always don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jprojabs for the combo of the week and even more training tips. Thank you for working out with me and I'll see you again real soon. Ish, ish, ish. Hi.